Hey there, it's Elizabeth. I hope y'all are doing well. Today we're gonna uh, look at the finished, not finished as in finished finished, but the finished journal that I made for a glue book, okay? Uh, yeah, it could be a series. Maybe I'm gonna start a series on glue booking and a couple of you had asked in my last, uh, one of my last videos if I would show the process and progress. And so, yeah, sure, why not? Why not come along for the ride? So I took um, a book from my stash, right? I did not increase the spine. It's an inch thick spine. And I did so in two signatures here. If you look closely though, see I have an extra set of holes, okay? I put an extra set of holes in so that when I get close to like finishing, okay finishing this book then if I still have more room you know because everything's going to be flat in here nothing is going to be dimensional at all but I do know that obviously the pages get thicker the more layers you put on um and so yeah so once I get like toward the end if I want to add another signature I can and if I don't want to then I don't have to the reason I added the holes right now is because if both of these signatures were filled up with beautiful images and then I decided, oh, you know what? I really, I really wish I had a third signature in here. It would be a lot more difficult to sew in, um, you know, to make the holes and all that kind of stuff and sew everything in when you've got a packed journal. This way the holes are there. All you've got to do is just simply sew it in. So regardless of how full these are, if there's room, I don't know. So, okay, yes, I'm going on an adventure, the adventure of glue booking, okay? Um, I showed you in the first glue book video that I have attempted many times with many different books to do many different types of gluing, whether it's collage work or, um, you know, just gluing random images and books and all of that. And then I had told you in other videos as well, I've been really inspired by Carla at Cage Fish and I'll leave her link below. Uh, one day she was doing a video, it was a live, and she was talking about the her differences, like how she sees it, her perspective of glue books versus like collage books. And I'll leave the link below so you can go ahead and watch that for yourself. Um, but one of the things that really just kind of lit the light bulb in my brain was that she was talking about in her glue books, she uses images that are just square like simple shapes okay squares and rectangles and so she collects images that are squares and rectangles and that's what she primarily or uses primarily in her glue books so in other words she doesn't put in fussy cut items okay and i think that might have been where my stumbling block was like um i don't know I don't know like I'm not a very random kind of person so it's this is really stepping out of my comfort zone I, I don't normally do things like this um, but I'm intrigued and I want to know if I can do it and I want to have fun doing it so for instance as, at any rate well let me back up a minute so it uh, what I'm trying to say is by just using simple shapes okay I think it's going to make it easier for me to grasp the idea of a glue book. <laughs> so we're going to go through a book in a minute, harvesting a few images and showing you what the different things that I like to cut out um, in just one of the books. But at any rate, I have two signatures sewn into this book. They are made up of just random papers from my room, um, no rhyme or reason they're all going to get covered up and um, I have nine pieces of paper folded in half okay now one thing that I did do in this first signature here is I kind of reinforced the center with a piece of masking tape and I'm sure it'll work out fine but it did add bulk to the uh, center of the book right because I did not reinforce what I didn't do is go and reinforce the front and back of every page, you know, with masking tape. I just didn't do that. I, maybe I should have. I don't know. At any rate, I just went through and reinforced each of the pages, the center part. 
Um, and then, but I did not do that in this part of the book, okay? Let me let my puppy in real fast. Sorry. Come on, honey. Come on, baby girl. I'm sorry, honey. Okay, sorry, back. All right, so I did not do that in this part of the book, and we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully the book stays together. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, like I said, they're just random pieces of paper because they're going to all get covered up anyway. Okay, so let's get to harvesting, shall we? And this is just how the book is. Right now it's kind of goes open like that naturally, but I will put a closure on it. Um, yeah. So that's how it looks, and I'm super excited. And in the last video, I said, too, this cover, it's a beautiful red color. I'm not sure if I'll leave it this way or perhaps do something on it. it I don't know yet. I usually, if I at all decorate covers, which I usually don't, I will wait till the end and do it, uh, do that part at the last, you know, the last part. But it is matte finished so it won't be a problem to glue anything on so I'm super excited to get into this and then what I did was I started harvesting some images and like I said they're they're just all square okay they're all square so far however something like this I might decide to go ahead and cut out the circle Okay, so in this book, I'm just going to mainly focus on basic shapes. Might I put a hexagon in? Perhaps. I don't know. It all depends on the different images I find, right? So here are some that I still need to cut out. But look at these beautiful, just the stacked rocks. So, so pretty. This, I just thought this was lovely. I just thought it was lovely. Um, flies. <laughs> Because who doesn't want a fly? A fishing fly, that is. I think, yes, those are fly hooks. Um, here's a little water, you know, like by the pool. These were fun little map things that I found in a book. As I was putting my pages together, I found these little strips. So those will be fun to use in my book. These are just, this is just a scrap, right? But I like the color of that, so I might use that. This was in one of the furniture books. I love the ceiling on here. I love design and interior design. Um, here's like a little like couch thing. It's just a pretty picture and I love the color palette. Here's some other, just these are just random things that I thought looked fun to use. Little charts and graphs and I don't know, something about Galileo maybe? I don't know. And now my little pup wants to go out satellites of Jupiter just cool little things you remember this from a few videos ago I'm gonna put her somewhere and here's my little Zen candle okay so here's some of my images and lay down baby girl just lay down honey so what I'm gonna do is go through some of these and cut them out and show you how not to cut. I'm sure y'all know how to use a pair of scissors, but um, just different things that I'm looking for. You know, like I think that's beautiful, right? I think that's just beautiful and will look lovely on a page. And my, my, um, you know, whatever I'm calling it, the, you know, the stuff that I'm putting on the page, this, I do believe I'm going to cut out with a paper trimmer. I hope the lighting's okay. I don't know if I mentioned it. I turned off my overhead light because, um, it was quite glary. Um, what was I saying? Hmm. I'm not sure, like, I think it's just going to be a collection, this book, of which is what I think what a glue book is, okay, is just a collection of pictures and images and colors, you know, that you like, that you enjoy looking at, you know? And so I found this, uh, like, furniture book. And like I said, I really, I really do enjoy, like, interior design and all of that. Um... And so, whoops. And so, yeah, I'm going to take a lot of photos from that. So today I just wanted to sit here. I had just finished uh, sewing in the signatures of the glue book. 
and like I said, uh, or maybe I didn't because I start, I had to start this video over again. But see, these would just be pretty little, without the glare, Elizabeth, just pretty little, co like color swatches almost, you know, to put them on a page somewhere. Put those in the bucket. And here, here are a bunch of blues. Um, so what was I saying? I forgot. Yeah, it's just going to be a book of things that, or colors and, and shapes and, um, patterns and things like that you know it it doesn't need to make any sense at all um it does not have to have a purpose mm, per se other than to bring me joy and happiness when gluing stuff down okay um there's really no rhyme or reason to it at all it's just putting together uh, things that are pleasing to my eye and that's it you know and who knows you know later on once I finish the book it'll probably take me 10 years but so here are a bunch of pretty blue ones whoops sorry shook ya didn't mean to do that there we go pretty blue patterns this is the book that I'm looking in it is Ethan Allen style and it's huge um, but here's another example of stuff that I'm going to look for. Is that focusing? How pretty is that? Right? To put on a page. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, so let's see. Are you in frame? So what I'm looking for in here are just square images. Okay, square rectangle images. There, you can see it better that way. Um, rather small, not huge, unless I see something that I really, really like. And that's all I'm looking for at this moment in time. Now, later on, I might go back and say, oh, you know what? I really like this picture down here. I just keep having to get up and down, so make sure that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, some I might go in. Can you see the whole? Yeah, you can pretty much see everything. Okay, like this right here. Okay, I'm gonna cut these. Um, in this book, every like chapter or something, they have something called a palette, and they're just square blocks of different colors and patterns. So I like that. Here is a little tapestry just the right size the right shape so I'm gonna cut that out I'm probably gonna cut these little whatever those things are called the rod out if you can see that yeah it's just a whoop, without the glare here I thought taking the light off would reduce the glare but yeah I'm gonna save that and cut it out um hmm candlesticks I don't know I might go you know I might go back. I might go back. Yeah. So first, I'm going to go through this whole thing, excuse me, <clears throat> and just quickly pick out things that I like. I like that right there. Here's another palette that I can use. So we're just going to cut that out. Normally, I would have looked on the other side to see if there was anything that I wanted, but there is not. So... I'm gonna cut these out, or this one out, anyway. Actually, I'm just gonna attempt to rip it out. Yep, that's fine. Cut this part. Well, we'll just go ahead and, this is sort of fussy cutting, but not really because it's just square, you know? I'm not having to go around corners or anything like that, so I rather like that, and then uh, when I go to glue this down, if I would rather have, I'm concentrating on cutting, if I'd rather have each individual square, which I might consider that, then I can then cut them all up and use them individually, which actually I might end up doing because that looks like fun. Okay, so yeah, and Carla also on her video, like, show, she goes through how she harvests. I don't care for that, so I'm not keeping that. 
she goes through like the method of her how she goes about harvesting images and there are to oh look at that and there are to oh and these as well um yeah okay i don't need anything there these so i'm just going to tear off the whole page so there is a method ooh, there is a method right um if you want to call it that you know and Carla explains it in her video but I'll just kind of summarize it you know you look through your magazines um, a few different times you know what I'm saying and you go through with certain images in mind that you're looking for for instance as I'm going through this book I am just looking for small square or rectangular images that's all I'm looking for right now I'll keep that in there <coughs> whoops <clears throat> excuse me see I could cut this out right here I'm not going to just yet that'll be maybe on my second go round okay so I might go through this book four times before I'm done with it I love this picture here yeah I might go through it, you know, three, four, five times, you know, um, for different reasons. You know, maybe the next time I go through this book, I'll be um, cutting out words. You know, maybe the next time I go through this book, I'll be cutting out fussy cutting flowers. You know, it just all depends on what I'm looking for at the time. So you can kind of quickly when you do it this way um, and you're only looking for one or two things you know then you can more or less go quickly through your magazines and I don't want because I might want to fussy cut that that plant I don't know one day um, yeah so you just you know you go through your magazines with one or two things in mind and you concentrate on those. I do like these candlesticks, however, so I will cut those out. Yeah, so I hope that makes sense. Like I'm not just looking through and saying, oh, I like this and I like this and I like this and I like this, you know, a sense of fulfillment, that would be fun just to use as uh, words, you know, or a, a phrase, but I'm not looking for that right now, so I'm leaving it there. That's gonna be on another go round, okay, of looking through this book. That is just gonna be another go round. There are a lot of beige, beiges in this book, people, a lot of brown and beige, but that's okay, because that would go nicely with other colors as well. I don't think I really like that. I do like this though, because it is seashells in a bowl. So, um, Yep, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's see, this is a pretty style. Sweet, what was it? Swedish country or something? Very pretty. Um, oh, I love, I love those colors. Those are really pretty. So I'm just quickly going through this here, you know, cutting out the palettes. I will then take my paper trimmer and trim through those. Don't care for that picture. Um, yeah. Trim I don't really care for that either, but I love these right here. So, hello, get in my basket. Yep, so this is a really quick process, you know? I mean, it's it's not hard. It's, you know, you don't, maybe on another go round, I'll take this, not today. This I like, cause I like the colors. I will go back later and like, you know, I guess if you wanna call it fussy cut the square out, you know? eclectic I might come back on another go round and cut that word out um, yep I'm just quickly quickly I do like hmm hmm I like these but I don't like the tops so and I'm guessing yeah these I like these colors okay so we'll take that out I do like this rug here, and it's in the shape that I want it, so I'm gonna take that. 
never going to use those pillows or the lamps, so I'm going to just cut right through that. And then there you have it, right? So I'm going to put this in my pile to then cut out later. That's a cute couch. I might use that in something else. So see, that's what I mean by having different go rounds. You know, you go round, you look for certain things. Ooh, love the sunflowers. You know, you look for certain shapes or certain sizes or certain colors, you know, and then you go back through the book again and you look for some other something else. You know, maybe you're looking for just flowers. I don't like, well, we'll see. I, I like the Americana thing on here. Not a fan of like this, which looks like, yeah, corrugated metal. Oh. <laughs> okay. Although that could be a good texture, like a good texture. Don't need a picture of a secretary, I don't think. Um, oh, I like the, the patterns of these. Ooh. So I'm going to cut that out. And um who knows i don't know if i'll ever like get on live and and do something like this probably because i'd be too busy watching um carla doing her live while she's gluing <laughs> oh look at those those are really pretty huh those are really pretty i like those a lot so there you have it. Yeah, 20 some minutes. I think you've seen enough. All right. I bored you to tears, I'm sure. Oh, look at that texture. Okay. So, oh, and look at those right there. Okay. So that I'm going to cut out as well. Okay. So I am just going to continue cutting out squares and rectangles out of this book and having fun doing that. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope, you know, you y'all know how much I love to ramble. I mean, if you didn't know that, you wouldn't be here. And if you don't like it, then change the channel. So on that note, I will leave you all to it. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that, you know, I explained myself a little bit. Here's my little box of goodies already adding up to put in my glue book that I have now lost. Here it is, my new glue book, and I can't wait to start putting stuff in and gluing. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Okay, um, yeah, so thanks again for watching. If you like what you see, make sure you, um, you know, click the thumbs up, the thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I do have lots of other things on the channel. I generally, I work or my channel is generally about my written journals, okay? <clears throat> my daily creative journals. So if you're interested in that, check out my playlists and all that jazz. And I will thank you for your time and thank you for sharing it with me. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, a great week, and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye.